Hey guys, welcome to a FIFA 16 Hybrid Squad Builder and today we're in the Silver Unbeatable team. This is actually probably the best team I've used so far in FIFA 16. It's a really good Silver squad and I got all the way to the uh, Silver Cup Final and actually won it. So in goal, we do have Crit, so he is a really good goalkeeper, only uh, 650 coins. 77 diving and reflexes and uh, 73 positioning, 72 handling are pretty good stats for a very cheap goalkeeper. First up in the defence we do have Kanaman from, um, I'm not too sure, maybe it's Boca Juniors or something, but uh, yeah, really cheap, only a thousand coins and he's got 76 pace, low high work rate, 74 defending and 84 physical. On the left hand side we do have another Argentinian centre back and that is Glot, 65 pace, 74 Defending 76 physical and again only a thousand coins. So he's really really good and uh, this centre-back partnership is actually really really good In the left back position we've got Carlinos from uh, Sport, uh, Sao Paulo 79 pace 77 uh, dribbling and he's got four star skills and four star weak foot and he's only a thousand coins It's kind of crazy how cheap silvers are this year in comparison to like FIFA 12 and FIFA 13 He'd probably be going for like 40k in the right back position. We got Carl Jenkinson obviously 2,000 coins, it's a pretty good price, he's got 78 pace, high high work rate, just bombs up and down that right hand side with uh, 74 defending and 74 physical. Going into the midfield, now we've got Zuccolini from uh, uh, Middlesbrough, 80 pace, 74 defending, 73 dribbling and uh, 70 shooting, pretty good well rounded stats and only 3,000 coins, he's actually quite a rare card because he's actually be only been at Middlesbrough for about a month. In the midfield again, we've got Will Hughes and... Um, yeah, he's mainly there for chemistry reasons, but still, he's a very good player with really nice dribbling, passing, pretty good defending. It's not anything amazing, but he does a decent job and uh, quite tall in the midfield as well. Going into the final central midfield position, now we do have Alexandro from uh, QPR. He's a very good silver this year. He was actually quite a good gold card last year. Now he's silver, he's pretty darn good and only 2,000 coins for 72 pace, 69 shooting and passing and 78 defending and 83 physical really good box-to-box -box midfielder in this team. On the left-hand side, we do have Fernandinho from uh, Gremio. 86 pace, 78 dribbling and 4-star skills. 1,000 coins. Again, another player in previous FIFAs, probably be like 30, 40k. On the right-hand side, we do have a player from the BPI, and it is Nathan Redmond. 86 pace, pretty much 80 dribbling and uh, 70 shooting, 70 passing. Quite a well-rounded card and uh, did get two goals in four games. Again, quite expensive for what he is, 2,800 coins. Probably could get a cheaper alternative, but um, he's nothing that expensive in comparison with the final player, Thomas Ince, who is around the 70k mark. I will show you in a moment, but uh, yeah, so far he's got 11 goals in 12 games, one assist as well. And um, yeah, he's absolutely fantastic. One of the best cards I've used so far on the game. And as uh, you can see here, he's going for about 80, 76k there. There's one for so obviously this squad builder is about 100,000 coins, probably even cheaper, probably like 85 if you really want to but still if you did enjoy this squad build, it would be really nice if we could smash over 30 likes a nice silver hybrid and um, I think it's a three or four league it might be a four league hybrid so it's actually quite a creative squad and it's really good at the same time there's only three dead links so that's another good thing about it so if you did enjoy this squad builder make sure you do leave a like subscribe if you're on the channel and see you soon bye